Hello, this is a note on creating the PDFs for the NOAA Custom Charts, NCC. These are the uh, paper charts of the future. And um, the NOAA has an online app. Uh, we're looking here at version 1.2. I'll put the links in the description to get here and related links. And this is where you make them. And then once you have the PDF made, the high resolution PDF, then the next job is to get them printed. And we just the other day posted an article here Printing NOAA custom charts. So I will put that link in the uh, discussion as well uh, so that you see where there's notes on, on printing them. So let's start here. And there, there are several nuances involved in this process. And it's new, and there will certainly be uh, improvements and modifications as time goes on. But let's just see what we have at the moment. This is the link. And then you go here, and let's start with, uh, what's this? Uh, that's nothing. Let's go to the gear. That's where we're getting started. Data, these two, data extents and data extent text. This word is used two different ways, I believe, in this program. One refers to just these labels that are on these background, uh, background uh, ENCs that we're looking at here. And right now, it says they're on. If I turn it off, then these go away. Here, I uh, think, yeah, see, they go away. Oh, they go away completely. I'm going to turn them on. And then here, you just have the label chart and scale. Uh, so now that's just the scale, and then pretty soon it'll be the chart and the scale. Okay, so you see, that's just turning those on and off. Not entirely clear why that option is there. Uh, it seems like you would, they're not in the way in any sense, and you would probably want them on. They don't show up in the, these lines don't show up in the final products at all. So that seems like that could be just in the background always on, but that's not the issue. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is choose what scale we want. And these are, these are called the usage bands. Let me show what the scales look like for these usage bands. Um, these are, um, the birthing is 1 to 2.5, 1 to 2.5 to, to 12,000. And then harbor is 1 to 5,000 up to 51,000. And then the approach is like 125 to 150. And since we use 180 a lot, 80,000 and so forth, most of the sort of like working daily charts would be in this area. We can also make some like this. We, with, these, with these charts, you can make some nice small, you know, 11 by 17 charts. just absolutely beautiful for some inland waterways and so forth, almost like a folio, and just make a whole series of these. You'll see that they only... They are uh, looking, referring to that article. These 11 by 17s are only a dollar. Now, keep in mind, and you have to read that article about this, there's very good prices on these at the Office Depot and reading that technique. But in the end, you may want to, but the paper quality is not, it's not very durable paper. It's a rather fragile paper, unless you pay extra and get it uh, uh, laminated or something. But here now with Paradise K, you can get actually, you know, real chart paper and they have a very high quality chart paper as well. So that's in that article. But the sizes, that the, the sort of size, natural sizes we're looking at in a sense, primarily 11 by 17, uh, 22 by 34, 34 by 44. Now with these, and, and the price here is 24.95 as real chart paper, and that doesn't matter how big the chart is at all. Uh, that's, uh, that's what it costs. Okay, so we're here, and those are the ones. So if we want to simplify the background that we're looking at, then we could just, we don't want to look at all of these. We might as well just look at, and I know there's no birthing charts in, in that area where we're looking. So we could look at these two. We're going to look at the Paleolo channel. That's an example we use in our course and that's here between Maui and Molokai, right in here. And so we're assuming, let's say you're sailing into uh, Lahaina or somewhere in here, um, and you got to come into this channel, and let's just say we're going to hypothetically make kind of an entrance channel of this region right here, this region right here. And so, and there's some lights, there's a light out here, there's a couple lights here, here, and here, so forth. And you would see that as you zoom in, they do show you they do show you here the actual lights. Uh, there's something interesting about these. These are uh, these are uh, ENC. These and we're producing a, do, a copy of the ENCs. 
And these ENC lights, unfortunately, every, these aren't really sector lights, you know, but they're, they're just blocked out by the land here. But according to an ENC, these are a sector light. And unfortunately, sector lights don't have any labels. So you're not going to find out what they are. One link that you might, and I'll put it in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, in the references here. Let me show you this link. We have starpath.com slash get charts. It's all kinds of all references for different resources at NOAA. And here is this new number nine, we call it here, NOAA Experimental Chart Viewer ENC and RNC. I would go to that one. And then once you get, and this also works, look at that. The thing works really beautifully. You know, in other words, that technology of just making that work when you zoom and, you know, do that and so forth, that is, it actually really works well. Anyway, so that's that new one. Now, the trick play here is go to base map and then put in an RNC base map. Now, they no longer, no one no longer has, they took out about October, November of last year, they discontinued the seamless RNC viewer online. However, we can kind of get a backdoor view of the same thing here with this new, uh, it's called My Map. I don't know, we have the link to it there. And so here are, here's the area that we're looking at, and you can then zoom in and use this as a comparison for what the RNCs look like, and we're creating an ENC. And so these lights really do have uh, known properties, flashing six seconds, 75 feet high, and it had nominal range of nine miles. Now, uh, we would like to know that from this chart, but we're not going to get to know that. We, we, well, we can get it and we'll write it down. All right, so here is the area. So now we want to experiment with how, how do we, ch okay, let's go to the, oh, wait a minute. There's other settings here. In fact, there's not very many settings. Ultimately, we'd like to see more, more options to customize these charts. But for now, we pick feet. We're going to put four colors for the water depths. And this would be, and I'll have to come back to this if we have time, if you want to get like 6, 12, and 18, you would put in, you have to put in one foot less than what you really want. And, the, and I'll come back and talk about the contours later. And then we want to label the contours, yes. Say, label safety, con, label contour, label, all, okay, label, hmm, that's interesting. You label all of them. Symbolize boundaries mean, uh, let's see if there's a, if they zoom in and show us any of those. Yeah, so there's a symbolized boundary. Um, that, see the little code, that, that, oh, now wait a minute. If I just turn that off, does that go away? Yes, okay, that's a non-symbolized boundary. And there is a symbolized boundary. Now, if you look in the book, look in our book, we have a book on uh, ENC charts. Uh, ENC Charts, Introduction to Electronic Chart Navigation. This is our textbook that we use in the course uh, that's just all about these ENC charts. And in here, you would find the definitions of all of these terms and what's a stylized boundary and what, what isn't and so on. So that's a reference book that we have. Um, but anyway, let's make stylized boundaries. Oh, symbolized, symbolized. I guess that's the right word, symbolized. Okay, and compass rows we turn on. And that's a compass rows. There's some discussion that goes with that, but this one happens, to, I think works out pretty well. So turn that on. And then once we have all of those, we'll hit apply like that. So there then, now we go to the next step. The next step here is this one. And here's where we determine the size, the scale and the size and the aspect of the chart we want to make. And, and the, the beauty of this is you can experiment with this. But let's just say we want this entrance area, you know, something like, something like this area right here. So how do you even start? One way to start, um, let's see, we looked at these scales, didn't we? Yeah, harbor, the harbor, we turned on just the harbor charts up to, you know, one to, one to 80,000, something like that. Okay, so we've got that. We've looked at that. Oh, here's a little document I made here to show you. If you make, uh, um, 11 inches on one, uh, 11 inches on a side of a 1 to 25,000 chart is 3.8 nautical miles. 
3.8 nautical miles. And if you want, uh, like if you want to cover 18, uh, 1 to 40,000, uh, that's th that's 18.7 miles on this size of chart. A trick you can do, if it helps, is if you take a chart scale and then just and then divide out or remove the last four digits, you get a four here. This four is a number of miles per hand span on a one to 40,000 chart. Now that's not related to these inches. This is a different different concept over here. It just says if it's 11 inches on a one to scale, it's six miles. But I'm just telling you a whole different concept. This concept is if you take a scale and you lop off the last four, you're dealing with a paper chart in your hand. That is one hand span is uh, four miles. In this case, one hand span is eight miles. This one span here is half a mile. See, hand span here is half a mile on that size chart. And, and the definition, <laughs> to make it clear, because people have different size hands, a hand span by definition here is about eight inches. That's just for that argument. Okay, so what are we looking at here? We're looking at, this is four miles. We wanna, we wanna look at this area. Again, we can just click and try away and just keep hunting and pecking. But just to get a rough idea here, we want, like this is four miles from here to here. So that's like uh, one, two, three, four, five, something like 20 miles here or something that we want to look at. And we, in principle, want that on one chart. So if we look up here, if we want that much on one chart, we're going to have to, uh, you know, go something like 140, 180, something in here and uh, take the big size, take the 34. So let's do that first and then just see what we get. And then, uh, then I'll have another shot at something different. So let's make that, well, let's make it 50,000. That's the other thing. Even though the native charts, like here we have a native chart up here. The, the, the original data is one to 80. 80,000 up here. Down here, it's 1 to 30,000. And I just randomly said, looking at this last table, that probably 1 to 50,000 might meet my needs. But I am going to have to put it on a bigger sheet of paper. And that's the 34 by 44. Yeah, this one, 34 by 44. Let's try it. Well, let's try it. And portrait, no, we want landscape. Landscape is the long one like this. Now, OK, now we're ready to give it a try. So um, I'm going to click this button here, and I've got. A, I securely see it's gone green. It's ready to do something, and now I come. Up, now see, look at this. Create a new extent. So ah, I see their logic. These are the extents of the nature of not the nature, but of natural charts. This one, you know, like that. And now we're creating a new extent. And these, these, okay, so that, I guess that makes sense. And what you do is you click here just about in the middle of where you want your chart. And then you just click it. And then have a little patience here while it, design, while it uh, goes in there and finds all that data. So there's what that looks like, which is not bad. Um, now, let's, can we move it? Yeah, let's, but, okay, I just randomly clicked the center. Let's go here and click here. Now, that gone green and this is now red and we can grab this now and place it in here and let's just come on down here there's a light up here that we're not going to get on this chart but uh, we're let's say it's something like that so there's our chart that's a chart we're going to make just like that so now we're ready to go to the next one and let's just call this Paololo Paololo channel well, pay a little channel entrance. Approach. Approach. Okay. And um, now, so this, okay, so we gave it a name. It's 1 to 50,000, 34th reminder of all that. And now this is a button that does, that does it. So we're going to push that button. Oh, and that submitted it. And there it's going calculating, uh, well not calculating, it's actually creating the PDF. And what I'm going to do while that's going on, I'm going to pause the PDF. I'm going to pause this video so we don't have to watch, wait through that. Okay, I'm back. That did not take too long. That may be, 
maybe two minutes, something like that, two and a half minutes. Now, and then when it's done, it says open. Then when you click that, let's see now, I'm doing this live here, what happens? Nothing, okay, good, let me do it again. All right, there it opens. All right, and so, um, and that's a, going to be a biggish file, and uh, that's opening that PDF in your browser. Uh, yes. Okay. Good. Now I we're going to come back and look at this. Look at this details of this some more. But I want to show another important trick. Uh, trick. Okay. Let's call it a trick. Um, but anyway, we had that chart, and you know it, it's got all the it's got the objects here and so forth, and. Um, and then what the way these work is this first page of this PDF is big. That's a and then you can let's see does that work? No. When you're the the size the recommended printing size is down here in the bottom. Now when you open this up in other PDF viewers it will actually uh, show that size. It'll roll over here. But that's going to be an issue I want to talk about. So this is a big page. These are eight and a half by eleven pages here. So in a sense, one of our first jobs is to get the chart off of that, out of this four, it's a five page file. We want to have the chart and all these. These are the notes, by the way. What comes up down here in the back are the notes on the chart, plus a rather important enhancement to the notes that doesn't mean so much on this particular chart. But this, this, this data here, in this thing is called the zone of confidence uh, data. So it, you'll see in other charts, like your local waterways and so forth, bays and uh, so forth, uh, very interesting data because this is telling you what how accurate the chart is. And but in this case, in this case, it doesn't mean much. So Command Zero. I'm on a. I'm actually right now. I got to go Command Minus. Get smaller a little bit. I'm on a Mac. It doesn't really matter. Okay. But the idea is here's now one one of the technicalities. Um, when you're working with PDFs, let's say you want to annotate it or write in here. Right now, all I want to do is uh, get rid of these pages. Now. The normal reader, if you get Adobe Reader, that's the free one. The Adobe Reader free one won't let you delete pages. They're going to just immediately load up something as here. Pay us $24 a month, and then you'll get access to Acrobat. Not Adobe Reader, but Acrobat. And Acrobat is the one that you can really do and manipulate these, these PDFs very nicely. But um, that's a question. Do you want $24 a month $24 a month, and quit any time? Or do you want to pay them $180 a year uh, to use that program to annotate and work on PDFs? And that you have to decide. But one of the things you can do, right? And there's free options, which I'll follow up and discuss later. But one trick you can do right now is in Chrome, you can do this in Chrome. Uh, or on a PC with Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge or Chrome will do this. So what you do, even though there's no export or delete pages or anything like that, the simple trick is you right click, let's say uh, print, and then you go up here and say print, custom, and you print uh, just page one, right, page one. And you see, when you print page one, then it will generate that PDF. And that will be, and it's high quality, it's exactly the same, nothing's different. It's effectively just lopped off those others, okay? So that's a trick you can do. You can do it with Chrome, or you can do it with, uh, I've got to pause again. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry for that. We live in a big city, and sometimes we get uh, big city distractions here that have to be dealt with. Okay, so I'm back. I'm not. I think I know where I am. Um, so this makes a really nice chart. Let me go minus minus and look at it. And then that was just a trick I went over about getting rid, uh, separating out these uh, the the 
the text. These are the notes that are usually printed on the chart. They're down here. Okay, now let's go back. Before looking at the details of that, let's go back to this and look at some other options. Suppose I might want to get one 11 by 17, 11 by 17 size, um, and see what that might look like. That's a $1 to print a, in a uh, you know, a paper, uh, uh, quick copy paper version. So let's go back, and then I go to here, and then let's just say I make this, oh, 11 by, 11 by 17, 11 by 17. Okay, now what's going to happen? Well, let's just see what happens here. If I make this 11 by 17, you see, and then go here, I click this. I'm going to just leave this up here, and then I'm going to click this, and now I'm making that same chart, 1 to 50,000, on 11 by 17, just to illustrate how this works. And then that creates it. And then you see, that's just a little teeny guy like that. So that's not going to show us anything at all. If I want to see this whole area here, I'm going to have to have a, uh, well, it's a tricky name. I have to have a smaller scale, meaning it has to be 150,000. And that's smaller because the scales are defined as a fraction. So 1 over 50,000 is a bigger number than 1 over some other number. And let's see... 50, this is like 50, 100, 150. Let's try 150, 150,000. Okay, now I'm going to make it 150,000. It's going to print 11 by 17 landscape. Let's click this and say go. Now, okay. So now, uh, see, look at that. Now we're in business. Now we can actually make an 11 by 17 chart. Uh, now, I could maybe clean things up a little bit. Um, you can't delete anything on this page. You can move things, right? If I do this and click it, I can move my page like that, but I can't delete anything. But if you go to the next step, you'll see all three of these charts. And this one we don't need. We just printed. That's the one we printed. And I can uh, then exit out. You see, I click it, so it's highlighted. And then it's over here. Then I hit X. And then that deletes that one. And here's this little guy. Oh, that would be this one, the next one. Yeah, you see that highlights that guy. And then highlight it and delete it. And then say, OK, delete it. Now we have our guy, which I can move and decide where we want it. This is the one you know, something like that. That's a, okay, so this is going to be, I'll just call it uh, Paololo, Paololo 100, 100 uh, I don't know, I don't want to put a colon in a file name. I'm going to just put 150,000, like that, 150,000. And then, uh, let's see, say okay. Then Well, then you hit here, you go. So again, on these controls, you have this is the one that's sending it off to the printers. This deletes it. This is moving it. And uh, so again, let me pause here while this completes. I'm going to maybe take a look at my watch. OK, so it's now 12% done. Pause. OK, I'm back. That I don't think that even was a full. Oh, maybe. Oh, look at that. I think that's the time right there. One minute, two seconds. Bummer, I didn't look at the last one to see what it was. But it's anyway, it was just one minute and two seconds to export this guy. And then you say open. And then you get, uh, you're going to get the chart. This is now the one to 150. This is now a fit. This you print for a dollar. Now, the question is, uh, if you... Uh, so the question that comes to play, with these new print-on-demand, not print-on-demand, these new, uh, well, I it's print yourself, do it yourself charts. To a large part, they're a backup. And if they're a backup, then we may be able to get by with the uh, less expensive, uh, less durable paper. And then if we want to make real charts, we can. But it could be that you can make them on this small size. 
but you have to then look at, remember I had to go to a pretty high large scale, 150,000. But let's just take a quick look. The other thing to keep in mind is, not only do you have this chart, you print it as a paper chart, so you're looking at paper just like you see here. So to zoom in on that, you got what's called magnifying glass. That's how you do that. But here, we can actually zoom in and look at some details. Like, like this, if we go back to our big chart, that's this guy. Let's see, how do I move him? Um, uh, oh, I guess I just move it this. Is there a hand? Oh, okay. Well, here's another thing. Once you, I'm still viewing these. I'm still viewing these in a browser. It really does. If you if you spend the money and you have the Acrobat or you use the Adobe, Adobe Reader has a hand too. But it's a really um, sort of an invasive pro program. But here I go, Command plus plus, and I just I'm looking at this little islet here, this little thing here, and that's on this big chart, right? That's on the big chart, and I'm just comparing that here. So you see, there is this little rock out here, and what do we see? Oh, there's our safety con our safety contour that must have been uh, uh, must have been 29 feet. Oh, that's interesting, 29 feet. Okay, and then those are labels on the contour. But, and we chose feet. Now they bring this, they still, this is another kind of issue to think about. They bring this in, they, they put these heights here. These are heights in meters and uh, elevations in meters here. But on the, this is now the very good chart. If we go back to the one to 50,000, that's this one, and you zoom in on it, you see, uh, you don't, it's, you know, you can see that something's there, but it's, it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit harder to read. The question is, if you have this PDF in your phone or in your tablet, you can also zoom in on it. So anyway, that's the process. That's the process of making these, uh, making these charts. There's a, you, and you can just experiment and play with it. For uh, local waterways, uh, it's really remarkable what you can do. And then you can have them either printed on high quality chart paper at, uh, well, actually half the price of a chart if you keep the short edge less than 22 inches, half the size of a price of a normal chart. And then, um, or have them printed at a, 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 like Office Depot or something. Okay, I'm going to stop there and then add notes as we need them to the description.